D.L. Hughley is known for his edgy and controversial comedy, and he's also known for popping off at the mouth and ruffling some feathers. Sure is. Aside from going head-to-head -head with several celebrities, including Monique, Kanye, and Terry Crews, D.L. has also made some extremely controversial comments that have ticked so many people off. Before we get into today's video, all oh, my besties eat your snacks like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All oh, my besties eat your snacks like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. Just do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it now. Lick it good. Eat these snacks just like you. RRGsnacks.com is our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, green apple licorice, and gummy sour bears. Nick, my back my jerky and my snacks. <laughs> Fans of his stand-up comedy know that DL has an interesting relationship with women. While chatting with NPR News, the host asked DL if he liked women. DL responded, I don't like the way they process. No, I don't. I enjoy their company. I don't like the way that they reason. You can't understand them. Ninja, we can't understand you. And then the conversation shifted to his thoughts about black women. Oh, this gonna be messy. Deal described black women as the angriest group of people. He added, Black women are angry just in general. Angry all the time. My assessment out of just in my judgment, you either are in charge or they're in charge. So there's no kind of day that you get to rest. How about I rest my foot up in your ass? How about that? DL. With the majority of his fans being black, they didn't take his words lightly. However, despite the backlash, DL remained unscathed by his words and continued on with his career. Years later, Columbus Short was dismissed from the TV show Scandal after being charged with spousal abuse. And guess who threw their two cents into the mix? DL, of course. On an episode of his radio show, DL first painted Columbus's wife as a liar. Then he stated if the allegations were true, she should have kept her mouth shut. DL added, If he loses that job, nobody's living in Calabasas anymore. I guarantee you, three years from now, she's going to be thinking, Damn, I should have shut the f up. Women always running out the mouth when they shouldn't. This b was thirsty. I know you, motherfucking lying. The audio clip was removed from the show's hosting site, but not before DL received a ton of criticism. That's what the hell he get. Online users even started a petition urging DL to publicly apologize for endangering the lives of black women who may be victims of domestic violence by encouraging them to remain silent. Exactly. By that point, people started to wonder why DL had so much vitriol toward black women. So Essence Magazine called him into the principal's office so they could have a little chat. <laughs> School in session. DL was asked about his comments regarding black women being angry and his remarks about Columbus's wife. DL denied that he hated black women and said, Black women are like spicy food. I love you, but it hurts in the morning. I love black women so much that all my mistresses have been black. This ninja crazy. Dio married his wife LaDonna in 1986, and they welcomed three children. She's been by his side through it all, from when he was a telemarketing agent to his rise as one of the kings of comedy. But after three decades of marriage, Dio came forward with some news that absolutely no one asked for. He revealed that he had a secret child out of wedlock. This ninja. It's unclear when the child was conceived, but DL stated it happened sometime during the early years of his marriage. According to DL, he financially took care of his baby boy and kept the details about the child and his mistress from his wife. You lying ass dog. DL must stand for damn lie. You trifling motherfucker. And then one day he received a phone call from his friend, letting him know that his nine-month-old baby boy was in the hospital. DL stated that his mistress's boyfriend shook the child so hard that the baby eventually lost his life. While he grieved the passing of his secret child, he was also afraid because he knew he needed to come clean. He told his wife the truth, including the fact that he was blowing several other women's backs out. So he was just sticking it everywhere, huh? In response to conceiving a child behind her back, his wife's response was, I wish you would have told me, and we could have gone through this together. That ain't something you go through together. That's something you leave his ass for, okay? <laughs> Deal told Vlad TV that years after coming clean, the other woman, whom he hadn't communicated with for a while, came back into the picture 
and asked for money. Dio told the woman that his wife would have to take care of it because it was a boundary he wouldn't cross. After you had a whole baby on her? Child. So the woman and his wife connected. Yeah, put me on the phone with her. Tell her to call me. And the wife started giving her money from DL's allowance. At the time of the interview, Dio said he was no longer getting an allowance and he wasn't allowed to ask his wife if she was still giving the woman money. He also stated his wife and the mother of his deceased child randomly met in an airport. Dio said he introduced them to each other and his wife surprised him by immediately telling the other woman, I'm so sorry for your loss. If this ain't the most ghetto sh I have ever heard. Putting his dangalang in other women's hot pockets isn't the only thing he's guilty of. During an appearance on Own's Black Love series, Dio sat on them people's couch and said, uh, said mean things, I've done mean things. I, I, I've never uh, been physically abusive, but I, I would say I've been emotionally and spiritually abusive, yes. He need his ass kicked. Should have been learning how to read, practicing them phonetics. Like you out here slanging dangling, getting that damn GED. That's what you should have been doing. Of course, what Dio does in his marriage and what his wife puts up with is their business. But after he opened up about all of this, it turned many people off. For others, Dio's confession wasn't a surprise. In his biography, which we've linked in the description box, Dio describes women's obsession with monogamy as ridiculous. He also added that rich men, especially billionaires, should be able to have all the sex they want with whomever they want. Everybody don't deserve a dang -a -lang. I think we need to give out dang -a -lang licenses before people can use them. On December 27, 2016, actress Carrie Fisher passed away at the age of 60. One day, Carrie's mom, fellow actress Debbie Reynolds, suffered a stroke and passed away at the age of 84. While Debbie had several health issues she was dealing with, many people believed she died of a broken heart. While fans mourned and their family planned a joint funeral, DL took to his Twitter to write, Debbie Reynolds died a day after her daughter did. Black mamas don't die because their kids do. They cry and say, God don't make no mistakes. Twitter lit him up. Some online users asked him to pipe down and have some compassion, while others told him to sit his ignorant ass down somewhere and mind his business. Sit your ass down, DL. Sit your ass down. DL addressed the backlash and made it clear he was standing on business. During an episode of his radio show, he said, If your name ain't Reynolds, we really don't have anything to talk about anyway. If one of my jokes lands me in hot water, which it has, then I have to live with that. But you're not going to get an apology from me. Aside from being a terrible husband, terrible, terrible husband, people have questioned DL's parenting skills as well. His son Kyle was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, and DL and his wife did everything they could to ensure he had a great life. His son has gone on to become a college graduate and is doing well for himself, but he still remembers how tough things were for him during his childhood. During an appearance on DL's radio show, his son explained that because of his developmental disorder, he had a hard time understanding when people were joking or when they were being sarcastic. And as a child, he thought DL hated him because DL always made jokes about his condition. Thankfully, DL and his son now have a great relationship. But then, while appearing on Sway in the Morning, DL revealed his youngest daughter told him that something inappropriate happened to her during her childhood. DL admitted that because the alleged suspect was someone he liked, he chose not to believe his daughter. He said, I will never get that back. I'm supposed to protect her. And I'll never get that back, that she told her father something. And he didn't do nothing about it because it was inconvenient. Fix it, Jesus. Despite Dio doing so many things to rub people the wrong way, his career continues to flourish, and fans still line up to see him perform. But how likely is it that he'll be in the news once again for sticking his foot all the way up his mouth? Very likely. Very, very likely. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.